Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you're having a great day. And today I wanted to talk about the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 and the GoPro Hero 7, making it you know, work as a possibility for uh, having a gimbal for the GoPro Hero 7, if that's something you're looking for. I did buy this adapter piece and have tried using it, but not really sure I'm that crazy about using it in the way it could work with the Osmo Mobile 2, and I'll show you that you'd have to do some adjustments to make it work. I will put a link in the description so you could read other reviews, ask questions, and you know see what others have to say. There's a lot of reviews. A lot of people seem to like it, but I, I'm just not sure that for me personally uh, that I would really use it now the way it works. So when I originally got the Osmo Mobile 2, I got it for my phone, which has worked well. And I thought, hey, for the adapter, because when I got the GoPro Hero 7 camera, I thought that would be cool. So I would get it. So first of all, uh, you could see it goes on fine and it stays on fine. Let me just show you here what it looks like. This is the adapter piece. It's metal. It stays on well. Um, I don't have any rattling. You know, some people I've read that have had some issues with rattling or noise, no issues there. But, uh, and it, it fits perfectly on the Osmo Mobile 2. So let me go ahead and put it on. And there you go. And let me turn it back on. So there you go. So you could see right away, oh, I just put it on backwards. Let me take it, take it off and put it back on. So it actually, this, this is the front way it goes and just snap that in place like that. And now you can turn it on. So first of all, it is a little heavy in the piece itself being that it's metal. So it's going to add weight to the, the Osmo Mobile 2. Uh, you can see now it, you know, works well with the weight. It turns right, it turns left, you can go up and you can go down. Now, the thing which is great about the, uh, the GoPro Hero 7 is when you're shooting video, it does give you a nice wide picture. The problem is when you hold it in this direction is that you are hitting this piece of the Osmo Mobile 2. So that is going to get in the way. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it on here a second. And I am just holding it here and let me shoot some video here. Now I have this uh, in the, let's put it on the, the linear. So I'm going to put it on linear. And when I were to shoot the video, now you could see on the, what it, it's showing and you'll see here, uh, it's showing this part of the Osmo Mobile 2 showing up, and that is in the linear. So that is a problem in itself. And now if I were to put it on even a step further, and you really want to go even to, let's do wide now. So now I'm going to do wide. Now I'll show you what wide looks like. So now this is why you could see now you're really seeing quite a bit more of the Osmo Mobile 2 and you know who wants to have that showing up on your videos. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it on the super wide. Let's get it on the super or the super view. So now we're back and now this is what it looks like with the super view. So now you really can see a lot of the Osmo Mobile 2. So to me, you know, obviously that's not going to work. Now, the way it can work a couple of ways is one, if you were to put this in this direction upward and then holding your Osmo Mobile 2 this direction, that would work. Now, I, I will tell you, I feel like this is going to put a lot of strain on your wrist. It is heavier. Uh, if you're doing it that way and it may become uncomfortable. So what a lot of other people do is they, they'll hold the GoPro in backwards position like this and then they'll maybe turn it around. So then, let me see, I'll show you here. If I were to turn it around this way and then 
roll this the GoPro Hero 7 you know and turn that around then you're not going to have interference by your Osmo Mobile 2. Um, let's see if I can get it go a little bit further it's not going all the way but some people have gotten it to work backwards and then you could move it that way it's just, it just becomes I think a little odd uh, again it's possible to make it work but if you are looking to want to get you know a, a gimbal and with your GoPro camera while yes you could save some money with this with this piece uh, for me personally it's just not going to work and I, I think it's just kind of odd uh, so it's not overly expensive but again you have to readjust you're going to put some pressure on your wrist holding it in this position over a period of time uh, so I would say you know look for a gimbal that's going to work well with the uh, GoPro Hero 7 if you feel like you need one. I think the stability on the GoPro Hero 7 really has worked well uh, what I've seen thus far but you know it's something maybe I want to invest in. So wanted to bring this to you know your attention if you are thinking about getting one and investing in one. So that's my thoughts. You can see from the video how uh, you know unfortunately it just unless you want to hold it backwards or hold it this way it's not going to really work well because then you'll otherwise have the Osmo Mobile 2 right in your view of your video. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope this short video is of help. Uh, not too confusing, but I wanted to at least share this with you. I am sending it back. was hoping that maybe it would work, but for me personally, not something that I feel would work well uh, for what I'm hoping it would do because I know I probably won't use it. I'm just going to keep it in the box. All right, everybody, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.